Welcome back, everyone. Drake Hawkins with again. It's back. I'm back. It's back. We're back for some more Factorio. This is our Death World Season 3, and today we're going to be sciencing. Uh, the goal today is going to be to set up a uh, science facility that produces at an effective rate of 2 per second. Uh, the reason I've thought that is that uh, I don't know that we will, like, say, say we produced... Um, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Say we produced at a rate of 1 per second. Or 2 per second as of the build that's designed to make 2 per second. But then, uh, in reality, we don't get that much. I'm perfectly okay with that. Uh, however, what would be lovely is to think this one through. If I have uh, a science bus, basically, at some point. That's probably gonna be weird. I, I, I don't know that I'd be as cool as Kitch and do sushi science. Uh, he's pretty epic on that. I love his sushi science build. If you haven't seen it already, check out Kitch's videos for some really actual good play, good way to play, uh, Factorio. Uh, but anyways, uh, he's got, uh, an amazing way to link those and have them all balanced together. I'm not that smart. Not that factorial smarts. Uh, so I'm going to do a very simple uh, bus here of spewing stuff up. I'm then going to probably belt weave or something and feed them all into a nice little... Uh, where is it? We don't have it up here. I've got my blueprint that has that. Let's bring it up. Where's my basic... This one uh, has this. And we would like basic. Oops, uh, where'd you go? There, 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 got, come on, there you go. So this sort of a deal. If I have all the science coming out up here, you know, it'd probably be above this line. It'll fit plenty in between, right? Yeah, it'll fit easily in between. So somewhere up here, for instance, I would do this like crazy build where I have a ton of this sort of science coming up like this, and then just feed to each other. We will get to that later. However, there's no point in putting those in until uh, I know exactly where I want them to lay and uh, until I have the actual supplies available. So, uh, red science is really stupid simple with uh, our currently awesome tech. Um, no, you know what? I'm going to leave that off, and we're going to... No, that's fine. No, it's not. Let's do these guys. Uh, old school builds, huh? Uh, that is sufficient it does connect to that power pole it does okay so all we need off here are these red science or otherwise known as automation science packs i'm not going to remember to use the names uh one gear one plate perfect a belt produces a ton of these there is 10 of them right now uh pulling one per right now we're pulling two per second this belt will hold 15 or seven and a half of each per second no problem so i'm going to grab the gears Am I? I've got the iron literally right here. Um, how many do they make? Half a second. Two plates. Done. Make me gears. Do this. Uh, like that. And I'm going to grab a piece of copper. And move this guy to here. I'm going to say this copper can come here. And this can come here. And... No, nope, it's going to hit this side of the belt. So old school, I can't remember how to do it. Uh, that'll give me iron plate. And we want a blue inserter to fill that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do this. We're not going to have any of this stuff down here. So I'll make this look a little neater. And do that. Uh, how are we going to power it? Like that. Really? I have no... Wow, really? Uh, why do I have these here? Go away. Uh, oh, I didn't tell them to bring me any of those. Oh, I didn't build any of those. 
I did not build any of those, did I? You know what? Uh, instead of that, tell these guys to deliver me, like, 50 of those. That's awesome. You go ahead and bring me those, and then I will, uh... I, um, I, I guess we'll make some when they arrive. We don't have any wood. <laughs> so, I don't, they might make it across. Alright, so you're gonna make me gears. How fast do you make gears? One every two seconds. You need to dump two plates every half second. They swing twice. That's fine. They swing twice a minute, which is actually two per swing. So slightly less than twice a minute. That's way more than we need. Or a second, rather. Okay, that's fine. Now, uh, I want to, I guess, temporarily... I'm going to... Not temporarily. I'm just going to power that like that. Okay. Now, you got your gears. You got your red science. You're going to start red sciencing. This will produce a plate. Um, see, they pause. The, the problem is the speed of that guy. So whatever, that's that's redundant. Don't, don't steady flow. Good. You're going to get all the way down there because of the time of those take take to run. Excellent. Now these are going to be the green science. That's one science done. Well, that's easy. We should have them all done by the end of this. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, like this. And we're going to do the same here and here. And these take two ingredients as well. But two ingredients I'm going to have to build somewhere nearby. Uh, you guys are now powered. Let's power the top. That's our input side. There. And we'll power the yeah, there. Just for posterity, for cons consistency, something like that. Some word that I'm looking for. Now. What do you guys need? Well, you're going to need an inserter, and you're going to need a belt. To feed that, uh, I'm going to make those, say, right in here. And I think we uh, shouldn't have too much issue making those. I want to really compact that in. I really, really want to make that really, like, squishy tight. Do I make it over here? Uh, what do you need for that? We need... Uh, belts, which is iron plate and gears. Um, and we need inserters, which is iron plate, gears, and green circuits. So if I bring iron plate and green circuits, am I going to have enough for one belt of each? If I literally just bring iron plates and green circuits in, is that going to suffice? Hmm. How do I connect this? Since that lovely little ditty is in my way. What about these are these are all out of they all need to go away because that's not none of this is gonna have stuff at that point. Uh if I then just grab this like that. And you can, you can smash in from that side. We have iron plates. We have green. Okay, good. Now, I need one of you to do this and that. You're going to make me gears. I know I've got them belted, but I won't always use them belted. Uh, there. And then, how do we, how do we fit, fit this in? I'm going to run these down this way. For compactness, uh, I want... Mm, how do I want that? That and that. I want this to be... That. You're going to feed that top side. Like this. You're going to give me iron plate down here. Uh, we're going to run across like this. You're going to come... Oh, not like that. There. You're going to come here. I do have a thing with with keeping these things compact, don't I? It's probably a flaw of my character, but, you know, I have a few of those. I just kind of ignore them. They eventually go away, right? Totally. Totally works. Uh, let's see. Power. Uh, I guess we'll have to power there and there. That should get everything. 
except for nothing because it's not actually connected. There we go. <clears throat> You'll make the uh, belts there. Now that's two belts per half second. <clears throat> so that's about a bazillion times more than we need. We need two belts a second. That's twice as much as we need. Perfect. Now, if I have a, uh, over here, if I say, give me inserters, what do you need? Gears, iron plates, yeah, perfect. Do the same sort of spiel over here. Do that, make those, connect those to there. Uh, connect that to here. And then connect this. Uh, how are we going to do that? I want these to go in the bottom. Like that. I need them to be on the bottom of that belt. So if I do this. Uh, there, 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 and there. Yes? That should feed them from the bottom. Ta-da! Now these guys need to be two per second. They are half per second for one, so two per second, so we got an even feed. Good, that's nice and compact. I like that I put it over there. Much better than up here. So much better. Okay, so that build provides us with two per second. We could just take the gears off the... Uh, from here we could bring the gears right off of our gear bus, but this is fine. It's more convenient, to be honest, to make it right there. So, we have 2 per second red, 2 per second green being produced here, in theory. Now, these have, of course, multipliers, but I'm ignoring the multipliers because they're all going to be blue machines at this point. If we upgrade them later, fine. Now, next is going to be military and blue. So, let's see about military and blue. Military science and blue science. Uh, blue is, what is it? Pro uh, uh, what is it? Petroleum science? Production science? Chemical science, I knew it was something to do with the chemistry. Uh, military science packs and chemical science packs. So military science packs take piercing ammunition, one grenade, one wall, or two walls. So, since we have brick over here, that's lovely. So we're going to need to make walls. Uh, for military science, we're going to need to make a piercing ammunition, a grenade, and two walls. Uh, so what's the, what's our wall speed? We One of those will be fine to make it. And then uh, piercing ammunition is going to need to have regular ammunition. He uh, takes three seconds to make a piercing ammunition. So we're going to need three of them to make piercing ammunition. This is not where they're going to be. I'm just thinking through the, uh, the, the volumes. Uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Military. There we go. Uh, and then you're going to need grenades. And uh, so grenades over here are producing... Uh, we need one per second grenades. Because this produces two sets. So if I have ten facilities producing this... If I have, uh, yeah, if I have ten science machines making this... Uh, let's see like that sort of thing and they are put onto one belt those science machines will need to have an input of per second we need one piercing ammunition we need one grenade and we need two walls okay no problem and we have two lines to feed those on no two lines to feed those on like this um i'm gonna move this up a couple tiles Please. Good. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry hard, hurry hard. Uh, right like that. Okay, now. If I, if you, if you will, please. Do that. Alright, now I need to feed all the goodies. So, uh, walls and grenades. Nope. Grenades and piercing ammunition. So, walls on its own belt. Walls can come down here. They can be made there. We're going to need, I don't know how many machines for that. Let's clean this up. And now that we've thought through the process, uh, how do we make walls? At what speed do, does we make walls? Walls are made. One machine will keep up with all the walls we need. Okay, that's fine. Um, how do we do that? Let's do, I don't know, something like this. So that belt, that thing is 
evenly fed. That's redundant. I could just do this. Like that. Now walls need an input of stone. And how fast are they going to need it? They need five stone in half a second. Um, that might be an awkward spot for that. Since it's not going to be able to be fed there. I need two lines of stone. I think. Uh, let me get there. To there. There to there. We'll grab the stone. Wherever it is. Oh, that was convenient. Look at that, right there. Alright, we feed the stone over here. He comes over here. This is going to feed into there. I'm going to grab a uh, power pole to run all that. You're going to output into here, there, 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 and done. This is the walls. Do they keep up? They're pretty darn effective. Look at them. Okay. That's convenient. <laughs> that does not work. Uh, what? Right. I don't care if it's... Uh, it can be on one side. It's fine. That's way more than we need. That's 15 a second. That's seven and a half a second. We need two per second. <laughs> okay. So, uh, that's fine. Now, each of these is going to actually need to have an input there, an input there, and an output there, right? Uh, and then we'll do the same ditty there and there and we'll put a big power pole here we'll put a small power pole there and that's a nice little duplicatable mess there 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 and there save us some time and money oh i missed uh there uh paste totally missed that shot there we go perfect now we don't have any of those lighted power pole things that's unfortunate, so let's make some. Okay, how can I make... Oh, I've got 14 stone wood on me. Oh, that's odd. Oh, okay, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, okay, so we got the bricks coming in here. All these guys should be fed with bricks. Now we need the uh, grenades, and we need the piercing ammunition. That's going to be two separate feeds. Uh, piercing ammunition and grenades. How many machines to make the grenades we need uh how many grenades do we need we need one per second grenade how much does it take to make a grenade eight seconds to make one okay so this is where we start making some decent sized builds uh for stuff um if i go here and then and then i go here We tell those to be grenades, and we just do a real simple four-piece build with, what does it need to make grenades? Uh, iron and coal, like this. Uh, what, how, many, how fast are you? Eight seconds? Okay, so you're going to need a one input here, and outputs, power. Uh, coal's gonna come down here. That's the, uh, that's this side. Okay, that's one side of the belt. Now you're gonna need coal and iron, right? So if I bring the coal across and then I split it, if I just do a split that does this, and this, that should keep fine. So I need a coal line to come in. Uh, we do iron there and like this and like this. Coal can come along there from here. And I just need to keep some of these out of the way. Perfect. There's a coal line, feeds onto that side. How much iron? Wait, how much coal do we need? That's not going to do. Is it? I don't know if that's going to be enough coal. I think we might actually bleed that coal line entirely down. 
So we need to feed uh, slightly more coal than iron. So let's go ahead and actually throw that into a blue so we know that it's not the inserter's bottlenecking when, it, when and if it does. How's it going to do? That's going to be nowhere near enough coal. Okay. Change of plans then. Uh, that is going to have to have a coal line and an iron line separate. Let's switch that up. And that as well. This can be... Uh, Cleaned off. Coal line down there. Then we need an iron line like this. That's going to be fine like this. And then one of these. Good to there. Now, give me this, and we will put the long-handed for the iron. And we'll put the blues in for the uh, coal. That is a very, very aggressive set of coal making. Uh, there? No, whatever. We're fine. Let's do it this way. Fuss with trying to think through the, uh, <laughs> the inserter connections. Take longer than I need to. There. Good. All right, then just power you there. Good. All right, now. Why? Oh, because there's no coal there. All right. Let's uh, re turn you down there. That should be enough coal to keep things going. That might have been enough originally, but I think I'm okay with this. It's a little weird looking, but it works. Actually, looks kind of nice. Now, the next piece is to get uh, the peer, the ammunition in. So ammunition's going to take uh, regular ammunition, which takes uh, four iron plates. Okay, that's fine. And then that's going to turn one ammunition per second. Yes, it's one per second, and this is three machines to make one per second, and we do need one per second to fill that. So, I need three of these guys being fed by one of these. Do we just do a, uh, a little triad deal here? Um, interestingly enough, I could probably do that. How do you do that? Um... Um, 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 weird, but doable, really weird, but doable. What if we did this and had these as our piercing ammunition? I don't know why I'd want to do that. That seems like a ridiculous idea, uh, but we could do it and there, and this is the regular ammunition. I don't know what else we need, so I'm probably I'm probably forgetting something very important, you know, like probably really important. Uh, then these will output that. Oh, I need steel and copper. Of course I do. Of course I forgot something. Steel and copper. Okay. Hmm. If I do a line of steel. Ooh. That doesn't work. <laughs> uh, there. Like that. Uh, and copper, right? Copper, you say? Uh, if I turn this down, and then uh, we go like that. And we put some copper into the other side. Um, steel and copper. Uh, 
there and uh, and there. Perfect. You can then actually feed there, there, and there. <laughs> That's an interesting... I've never done this, Bill. I'm just making this crap up on the fly. It's probably dumb. I, I think it's okay, though, actually, because these two feed to this, to either side of this, right? They do, okay? They have a constant supply of ammunition. Yeah, you're going to be able to produce one per second. They need one per second as a trio. They're con collecting five. They need five copper, huh? It's getting tight on the copper making it there. Oh, you're not running. Uh, because I put that in the wrong direction. There we go. Look at that. That's that's ridiculous and fun. Uh, and that's going to come down to here. Oops. It's going to come down to here. And boom. We have our ammo. I'm going to actually sneak it this way, though. I don't... You never know when you need the extra space, right? This is Drake Builds, so I like to build in compact where possible. Okay, so that's our uh, grenades and our piercing ammunition and our walls. And that must mean we have military science on the on the goes. We do. Uh, so that's going to come down here. That's going to come down. Let's try that again. That's going to come down here. And along to this, where this guy can then step over one, go up here. Somewhere. No? Maybe not. Maybe we run that out the other way. I don't know. But it's sciencing. We can always turn these lines around. I can have them come out to the right. That's probably a better bet. We'll see. But it's not urgent right now. So military science is done. Now... Blue science we are going to have to do in next one, but chemical science, Drake. It's called chemical science. Stop with the old school. We need 24 of these babies to keep up. So that's going to be a huge rate of production. We need three red circuits per second. That's half of our red circuit production. We need two engines per second, and we need one solid fuel per second. We're going to need 24 of these labs to uh, to fit this. So if we have 24 labs, they're going to need to come with two belts. Like that far. And then output like this. Not like that at all because I shuffled aside. Uh, like this. And of course, that puts them on the wrong side of that belt. That's intriguing. That's less, in, less than intriguing. That's really annoying, actually. Uh, you can go there. You can come down like this. And you're going to feed. Alright, so that's where our science will go. Now... If each of you are... You know what? This is going to have to wait till next episode. That's going to be 24 of these buggers to to get things rolling. We need three belts. Or we need two belts on each side. Um, producing or providing us with all the parts to get all this running. So that's going to be a lot of production. We might have a fair bit of it already available. Um, the fuel we're going to need to make and so on. But that'll be next episode. Thank you everybody for joining me. We have three of the sciences we're almost back to getting our chemical science back up and that'll be where we left off at previous science tech and then we can work on new research type or new uh science pack types at that point so thank you everybody for joining me one more time and we will see you in game